there's a fly in here. So if it dodge bombs me, dodge balls me. If it gets on me while I'm filming and I flip my shit, I'm sorry. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my August favorites. I can't believe that August is over because it means that winter is coming. I mean, I know fall's first, but I despise winter with a passion. I hate it. I'm dreading it, but we're not here to talk about my fears. So, August favorites. I feel like I have a good mix. I don't think I have as much makeup as I normally do. Um, yeah, let's get started. Oh, my hair. We should probably talk about my hair because it's a little bit different than it usually is. I finally did it. I got rainbow hair. And I do the air quotes because I said on Instagram that I got rainbow hair and people were like, it's not rainbow. Where's the green? Where's the yellow? Where's the orange? And I'm like, whoa, pull those reins back. It's just, you know, it's rainbow hair. It's different colors. But mermaid hair, peacock hair, whatever floats your tiny little canoe, that's what's on top of my head. I hope you guys like it. I love it. Like, I... Was that the fly? <gasps> Anyway, sorry. I'm like, I've been trying to get this fly all day. I cannot get him. I don't know where he's at. Um, anyway, I love my hair. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I think it looks really good not to be like a horn tutor. But I love it. So I hope you guys like it too. And by the way, my windows are open. So every motorcycle within a 50 mile radius will be driving by while I'm filming. You, the freaking tractor trailers and motorcycles. Okay, so first up I have the Soap and Glory <laughs> Let's try that again. The Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Butter and Body Wash. <sighs> we have we have to talk. This stuff smells incredible. I mean like someone took a lime and just squeezed it all over your body. It smells so freaking good. I wish you guys could smell it. When I put this on at night, I sit here for like 10 minutes and just smell it. I've never smelled a lime scent that smells this good. Usually it's a little bit artificial. This is just like, it's legit. It's so good. And the body wash smells the exact same. These are amazing. I mean, a uh, freaking amazing. I know I overuse that word so much, but my God, they're so good. I have a ton of Soap and Glory stuff. If you guys would like me to do a massive Soap and Glory haul, I can do that for you. But the Sugar Crush, anything from this Sugar Crush line, you will not be disappointed. I've gotten to be a huge Soap and Glory junkie. My battery's dying. F my life. Um, I've recently gotten so into Soap and Glory. I just, I feel like everything they do is good. I don't think I've ever used anything from them that hasn't been really good. So yeah, and they're carried at Ulta now. So yay. I'm going to change my battery and I'll be right back. Try not to miss me too much. Okay, I'm back. Now, I'm back. Now let's get into skincare. I have two things from Natural Dermis. I never hear anybody talk about this brand, but it is really, really nice. This is my favorite product that they do. Let me shut my phone off. This is the Exfoliate Minty Microderm Abrasion Cream. This is probably the best exfoliator that I've ever used. This was recommended to me by Manny. When we were in LA, he had this and I used it a few times and I was like, oh my God, it's really good because it's gentle, but it's still effective. Like it doesn't hurt when you put it on. Some exfoliators can be very rough and your skin gets red and it's like, why did I just put myself through that torture? This is gentle, but it does the job really good. I don't know why more people are not talking about this brand. This is the brand that Vegas Nay created and it's just really good. I don't know much about her, but I love this stuff. This is the Restore Botanical Face Cream with Deep Line Complex. I'm using this at night as my night cream. It's really hydrating, but it sinks in and I just like the way my skin feels when I use this. Can we talk about this packaging? Like it's so, oh my God, stroke it. It's so fancy and it has a pump. I'm a fan of this line. So Vegas Nay, do your thing, girl, do your thing. Okay, what else? Oh, I do have like a random foot product. I know. This is the New Skin Epoch Soul Solution Foot Treatment. I got this in a swag bag. This is 
Oh my god, I never thought I would be so excited about a foot cream, but I put this on probably way more than I should. It is so good. This will make your feet so soft. Like, I put this on and it sinks in really fast but you can still feel it there kind of doing its thing. So you don't have to sit still for five hours before you can get up because your feet feel like you put Crisco on them. Do you know what I mean? A lot of foot creams are super greasy. This is not one of them. It is, I'm telling you guys, this is the best product I've ever used on my feet. I don't even know where you can get it from. But, oh, newskin.com, look at that, it's right there. I will link it down below. I recommend this a thousand percent. I don't know anything about the brand, but this right here, this right here is, you will whoop somebody's ass. Whoop grandma's ass, girl. Okay, let's get into makeup. I feel like I have a lot of lip products, so I'm just gonna breeze through all of them at the same time. First off, let's talk about what is on my lips. I love this, and it's drugstore. This is the Maybelline Creamy Matte in Vibrant Violet. You guys, this is so good. So, so, so good. I love the creamy mattes. I think I have all of them. This one, though, like, just look how pretty it is. I just saw the fly. Did you guys see? He's probably, like, sitting on my face. Where did he go? I don't know where the bitch went now. Anyway, moving on. Um, these are incredible. Like, if you guys have not tried the creamy mattes, you have to. The name explains it perfectly. They're mattes, but they keep this creaminess to them so they don't get dry on your lips, which we all know my dilemma with dry lips. I just can't do drying lip products. I don't know what it is, but this is so pretty. I just love it. Okay, I have another purple one to mention. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in, what are you? Malibu. You guys. Oh my god, these are like, shit. They're like straight up dupes. I didn't even know that. I think the Ofra one is a little tiny bit lighter. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? I just, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that they were that close in color. But I mean, if you want a liquid one, you can get the Ofra one. If you want just a regular matte lipstick, you can get the Maybelline. Obviously, I have issues. Okay, next I want to talk about the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O Snap. You guys know it was coming. I love the Lippy Stick. Like, it's one of the best colors that ColourPop has ever done. But the lip liner, this is honestly the perfect nude pink. I have been searching my whole life for this color in a lip liner. It's pink, but it's nude. It's just honestly the perfect shade, at least for my lips. I love this. I am going to order like five more of these, and this is going to be the lip liner that I wear for the rest of my life. Like, this is it. I've been waiting for this. I've searched. I've searched and I've thought that I've come close but after using this I'm done the search is over can can I get an amen okay let's talk about this guy this is the ColourPop lippy stick in BYOB this is one of their sheer ones but I don't think it's very sheer you guys this color is so pretty I know we're getting to the end of summer but this looks so pretty with like minimal makeup it's so nice because it's not too like in your face it's I feel like it's appropriate for every day it, I just love it I love ColourPop lippy sticks I love the sheer ones I love the matte ones I like the creamy ones like I don't discriminate they're amazing and they're five bucks so jump on that horse I have a few lip glosses this one is the elf extra lip gloss in Brian I have talked about these a ton this month like on Snapchat, I think I talked about them on Instagram. These guys are two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollar make you holla. They are good. Like these are better than a lot of my high end like twenty, thirty dollar lip glosses. Seriously, you guys need to get them. I just spit on myself. This again is Brian. Look at this color. It's so gorgeous over top of anything you can wear it by itself like it's pigmented enough that you can wear it by itself i'm in deep with these i have been rocking them 
all the time. Like if I need a gloss for on top of a lipstick, it's these. I don't even grab for anything else, like all month. These are so, 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 so good. That was too many so's. And I also want to mention my MAC Oyster Girl Lip Gloss. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss or lip glass. Whenever I say lip glass, people are... It's just... It's perfect. It, it's just perfect over anything. It's so pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So you can put it like in the center of your lips. Oh my god, I'm like out of breath. You guys, if you're a fan of lip gloss especially like really light lip highlighting shades almost, you need this. It is de-freaking-licious. Okay, I have two brushes. They're both from e.l.f. You guys, this little guy right here, the blending brush, has totally replaced my NARS Eda brush. I know, that's a big deal. If you know me, you know that that is a big deal. I have not used my Eda brush all month since I got this. This brush is $6 and it is the best contour bronzer brush that I've ever used. It's the perfect shape, it's the perfect size, it's so soft. Like it just, I like that it's thicker than the Eda brush. Let me show you guys. So this is the Eda brush, obviously. This one is so thin and this one is thicker so when you're doing it, when you're doing the motion of contouring, it's already being blended. Do you know what I mean? Like with this one you really have to blend it because you can just get like a harsh line. With this one it just, it just does it for you because it's a little bit thicker and you can also take this down your neck like it's the perfect size because my neck is like hella pale. I get really excited about really good makeup brushes especially when they're for contouring because I feel like that's an area where a lot of people have trouble. Get this brush. It is six dollars. I am telling you guys your life will be changed. Like you will be freaking just contoured and blended and get it. And then the other one, this one doesn't have a name on it. I think this one is called, one of these guys is called the Ultimate Blending Brush. And <sighs> this brush has replaced all of my other foundation brushes. It just blends it in, buffs it in flawlessly. Like, I'm not going to spend too much time on these, but I am urging all of you Go to e.l.f.'s website. I don't know if these are in stores yet, but go to their website, order them. You will not be sorry. And it's 12 bucks for two of the best brushes that I have used in a long time. Like seriously, these are up there with my Morphe brushes. Oh, okay, let me just mention my MAC Warm Soul blush. You guys, this is like the perfect summer blush. I have it on today. I usually have this on. I have so many blushes and this is the one that I grab for pretty much every day. It's just so easy to put on, like you can just go to town, you can never overdo it. It gives you a tiny bit of a sheen. It's so pretty. I love you MAC Warm Soul. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, I also want to mention the Physicians Formula Happy Booster. This is the one that has the little hearts. Here, let me show you guys. It smells really good too. It smells like perfume. I think somewhere along the way I've lost a couple hearts, but this is, this is so nice for giving your skin that like summer J-Lo glow because these do have a little bit of a sheen to them and I just take a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E2 and I just go hard like I dip it for like 15 minutes and I just put it everywhere and it makes your skin, do you see that glow? That's this, I mean highlighter too, but this really, really helps. It's so nice, it's drugstore, it's inexpensive and I have been using this product for years and it never ever lets me down. I'm a fan. Next up is ColourPop's Super Shock Pressed Pigment in Too Shy. Oh baby, you guys, look at this. Just look at this. I mean, where are we gonna go? Oh my 
I just put it right over top of Oyster Girl, but you can still see how gorgeous that is. This I love for an inner corner highlight, not highlight, but if you want to do like a bright color on your inner corner, this is perfection. This is the color that I want in my hair. Next time I get my hair done, I'm taking this color with me. I just love it. I like it on the lower lash line. I love it as eyeshadow. It's so bright. It's so fun. Obviously, I'm not ready to give up summer yet. This just, oh my god, it's so pretty, you guys. I can't, like, that's all I can say. Okay, let's talk about the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. This, my friends, is bomb. Look how pretty that is. Now, when I first saw this, I'm not going to lie, like, when I saw pictures of it online, I was like, eh, it's a palette. But when I actually got this in person and used it, it is so, so nice. I love these purples. Like these three shades right here are really nice. This is good for a brow bone highlight. This one, Selfie, it is so pretty on the inner part of the lid. And then Pink Pearl on the lid, so, so pretty. Oh my God, where am I gonna? Oh, there, that was a pretty good swatch. I'll do close-ups because I'm just like a mess. I think every shade in here is perfect. Like they all work together really well. The mattes are not super matte. They almost have like a satin feel to them and they just blend so beautifully. I mean, Too Faced eyeshadows are freaking like you'll beat somebody's ass. But this palette I just love. I love that it has black. I love that it has all of these purples because purple is my favorite color. This is good. And this little, what is this called, glamour dust that comes with it. Again, when I first saw this, I was like, uh, another gold glitter. Like, I have 75 of them. There's something about this one. It's really light. And the glitter itself is so thin and, like, finely milled. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't look like chunks of glitter on your eye. It just... Oh my god, it's so pretty. Again, I will do a close-up of this because I'll get it everywhere, but I wonder if I can buy this in a full size. I mean, I never thought that I would go through like a, a little glitter thing like this, but goddamn, I've been working the shit out of this bitch. Oh my god, how much can you curse in one sentence? Okay, I want to share this with you guys. Makeup Forever sent this to me. When I opened my mail and saw my face on a Makeup Forever quad, I was like floored, honestly. Like, I just, I still can't believe that they did that. That was so nice of them. They did this for a bunch of different YouTubers. It's not for sale. It's, you know, it was just something that they did for each individual person. This has four of their eyeshadows in it. But I think this is the nicest thing, like, you know that you kind of, you kind of made it when Makeup Forever is putting your face on a quad. And I don't mean that to sound like cocky, but when I saw this, I was just like, oh my God, like I, I kind of, I, I kind of did it. You know what I mean? Like it was just very, very heart pumpy. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. I just, I will treasure this forever. Makeup Forever. Okay, now I want to share my favorite sunglasses with you guys. These are from the brand Key, which is spelled Quay. It's Q-U-A-Y, but it's pronounced Key. It's an Australian brand. These are the My Girl sunglasses in green, I think. Again, I'll put everything down below that I'm talking about. But you guys, when I put these on, I feel like a freaking movie star. I feel like a praying mantis because they have like those alien eyes. I love these. I have worn them all summer. Oh my God. Are they not like the most fabulous sunglasses? Everybody and their grandpa's grandma has these, but I don't care. I love them. I rock them. I get a ton of compliments on them. They're really hard to get your hands on. At least they were like a month or two ago, but oh my God. I need to get me some more quays. I know, I'm saying quay. I'm a rebel. I'm saying it. Okay, the next thing I want to mention are some of the bracelets that I'm wearing. Now, this first one was sent to me from Soap and Glory for hitting 100,000. It has the date on it in Roman numerals. 
that I hit 100,000, which was June 26th of 2015, obviously. But I just thought this was the nicest gift. So Soap and Glory, thank you. I honestly cried when I opened this. I just, that it's so nice. It is so, so nice of them. These other two bracelets I got from a brand called Helen's Jewels. And I have a coupon code for you guys, which I will pop up on the screen. Nothing is affiliated. She just sent me these and said if you like them, mention them. I will give you a coupon code for your subscribers. It's not an affiliate code or anything like that. And I will put down below which, like what style both of these are. But this little brown one that has this, it's like a little quartz rock or something. And then it has a tassel so cute and then a hamster hand wait let me get this guy out of the way this one aren't they adorable i love them they have been my arm candy of the month i wear them pretty much every day i just think they're so cute okay last but not least i want to mention my planner now i showed this before and you guys went crazy over it this is from personalplanner.com i will again put everything down below for you guys they emailed me and asked if I would like to design a planner. So I was like, of course, like who would ever say no to that? And you pick out the cover photo, you pick out the photo on the back. I mean, you pretty much pick out everything. Like you pick out the little border, you can pick out the layouts, you can put quotes in it. I have a coupon code for you guys, which I will put down below. I think it's for 15% off, but don't quote me on that. Again, I will give you guys all of the information. Um, as of right now, the coupon code is only good until the 31st of August, but I'm going to email them and see if they'll extend it to like mid-September. That way, if you guys have to get like money in order, you have time to do that. I'm also going to be giving away one of these planners. Now, I'm not giving away one of mine. Some of you guys were interested in purchasing this one. Um, I don't know if that's possible. You could always check with them and see if that would be a possibility. But I'm going to be giving away a gift card to make a planner. So whoever I choose to be the winner, you will get a gift card in the mail from Personal Planner and it'll have a code on it and then you go to their website and you just do your thing on the website and it'll be free because you have a gift card. So if you guys are interested in winning one of these, just comment down below. Let me know. What are you guys going to let me know? Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this beforehand. You know what you guys can let me know? I want you guys to tell me one good trait about yourself. If you think that you're a good listener, if you think you have a banging body, just tell me one good thing about yourself. I feel like there's so much negativity on YouTube. So let's be positive. Let's build ourselves up and talk about why we're so amazing. Okay, I think that we have finally come to the end. Again, all the giveaway information will be down below. It is only open to US residents. Sorry. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a random mess. Um, I am going to be doing a nail polish favorites very soon because I have a ton of new nail polish to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. I have a huge lip swatch video. I have a lot of good stuff coming for you guys. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.
watch that happen all day? What? I'm a love dude's ass. Duke, how did you even get upstairs? I took him down because he was being a bad little boy. Just gonna go back there and have consensual relations with Charles. Just sit right on top of him. Um, excuse you. Do you have to sit on top of Charles? Are you a mother hen? And Charles is your egg? He has no shame. As one dirty little dog. Stop staring at me, Duke. He's being right there. And where the F is that fly? 